I'm Lucy's Ross Munster and this is the latest Baja Chuck Kimper to leave the shop. This Baja is built on a Ford F-350. Before we step inside, I'll talk about a few exterior highlights. So starting all the way in the front, we have a buck stop front bumper. This is gonna have fog lights in it as well. All the way up top, inlaid into our custom composite shell, we have a Baja Onyx 6 50 inch LED light bar. Above that and around the perimeter of the vehicle, we're gonna have some scene lights. Those are all gonna be LED 6 inch as well. And then running down the side of the vehicle, you'll see that we have a Fiamma awning, as well as running boards down both sides. We have fender flares, and then we're gonna have an electric amp research step to get into the camper. You'll notice that this Baja specifically has a two-part door, and that's gonna allow it to be full size, so you don't have to ever worry about bumping your head as you walk in. Additionally, this camper has a custom bug screen at the, sliding, or at the side door, so you can lower that and keep the bugs out while you're at camp while enjoying the scenery. Moving rearward from the door, we have our porch light and then we have our custom Ross Monster Max Trax table mounting system. So as per usual, this just has pins that can be pulled out. Then you have a nice table on the side of your vehicle and you can pop it away when not in use. And this is gonna be a great storage spot for those Max Trax. All the way in the rear of the vehicle, you'll see that we have our three custom Molly panels back here that you can kind of affix things as he decides what sort of gear to take on the road. We have our custom Ross Monster rear bumper, a custom wedge style storage box here with two access points. So access point here and then as well at the side. And then currently we have two one-up bike trays on this Molly panel for bike storage. As we come around to this side of the vehicle, we have our custom locking ski box here. So there's some nice storage slats in there specifically designed for his skis. We also have our outdoor hot water shower back here. And then we're also gonna have an ARB onboard air compressor. So we're gonna have a chuck here at the rear bumper and we'll also have one at the front bumper. Let's step inside and check it out. Welcome inside. Design highlights inside this Baja include a white painted ceiling. We have Duramax gray mix upholstered wall panels. All of our cabinetry is gonna be slab door and that's gonna be in white oak. As we move down from there, we have paper stone charcoal countertops, a custom upholstered dinette in the rear here that is going to convert into a secondary sleeping area. And then our flooring is gonna be sterling oak. When it comes to layout, we have our cab over bed in the front of the vehicle as per usual. We have our wet bath as we move rearward. We have our galley on both sides here as we come to the back of the vehicle and then our dinette, which is also going to turn into that secondary sleeping area and house all of our plumbing and power systems. So I'm gonna start in the front and we'll work our way back. Starting in the front of the vehicle, we have our cab over bed. So above that, you'll see that we have some fabric covers that's gonna allow you to have access to the cubbies that utilize the storage in the bulkhead of the camper shell. We also have these half slide windows, so that'll allow you to check out camp from bed, as well as some reading lights at the head of the bed and a nice charging port here. So that's a great place to put your iPad, Kindle, whatever, while you're sleeping. Other cool features about this area specifically, we have this ladder that can kind of pop off and attach at this lower point. You have a better approach angle, so getting into bed is gonna be a lot easier. We also have a custom Molly panel on the interior of this vehicle. That's where he's gonna keep his hatchet and his medical kit, so those are always nice and readily accessible. And then lastly, we have our pass-through, so our insulated pass-through here. That's gonna ensure that while you're driving, all of the sounds from the camper are gonna be completely deadened. It's a nice, quiet riding experience, um, but it can also be lifted and lowered so that you do have more access when needed. Moving rearward we have our wet bath so this is going to be, kind of be concealed so it matches the rest of the cabinetry with our white oak. When you open up this door 
you'll see that we have brushed aluminum walls with a stainless steel shower pan insert. We also have a custom teak shower floor in here as well that can be removed and cleaned when needed. And then this is also going to be where we store our composting toilet. Moving into the galley, starting with our countertops, we have paper stone countertops. So these are gonna be made of recycled paper. They're really great because you can take things directly off of your cooktop, put them on these countertops and you don't have to worry about leaving burn marks. Again, we have this custom etched backsplash. So that'll be nice and easy to clean, especially behind our Impava two burner induction cooktop here. Underneath our cooktop, we have our Cruise 130 isotherm door style fridge with a small freezer up in the left-hand corner. And then we're just gonna have a little bit more storage on this side with adjustable shelving. So as they kind of decide what they wanna take out on the road, they can adjust those shelves accordingly. Moving over to the driver's side, we have a little bit more countertop space. We have a small countertop extension here. We're gonna have our tech van sinks with a custom insert here. So you can flip this faucet up when you're ready to use it and then you're good to go with the sink. Underneath the sink, we're also gonna have storage for our uh, fresh water tank. So we have a 40 gallon fresh water tank in this vehicle and that's where it's going to be housed. And then above our sink, we also have a 700 watt microwave. When it comes to ventilation in this vehicle, you'll notice that we have half slide windows around the perimeter. So these are showing right now because we have the top lifted, but as you lower that, it's actually gonna cover up all of these half slide windows. Additionally, you'll see that we have two Arctic turn windows on either side of our dinette. So those are gonna be awning style windows. So you can get a nice cross breeze in this area. They're also great because they have a bug screen that pulls from the bottom as well as a blackout curtain that's gonna pull down from the top. Additionally, we're gonna have a max air fan over top of me right here. And then we have a nomadic cooling 12 volt AC unit in the main area of the camper there, as well as a hecky skylight over our cab over bed. Closing it out with lighting, we have our dimmable overhead LED dome lights. We have our above cab lights, we have our under cab lights, and then closing out lighting, we're also gonna have our toe kick lights down the center aisle and those reading lights that we talked about in the cab over bed. That wraps up this Baja Truck Camper. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.